headed to the kitchen. Uh, we are in the Roadshow kitchen. Bryn Gibson, see the food nugget. We have some Vietnamese sweet and spicy beef on the menu. Good to yeah, see you. Good to see you too. How are you? I am good, and I'm very excited to be here today. This is great. I mean, first of all, we're, we're jam packed, so everybody can take like a doggy bag home yep. when they're done with this. <laughs> what are we going to put together, and what do we need to make this? It well, sounds delicious. And it's also super simple. As you see, there's not a whole ton of ingredients here. So you're going to take any kind of cut of meat you want. I actually have Chuck here. It's oh. actually going to work because you're going to cut it really thin um, and then pound it out. Got it. And then you also have some ginger, brown sugar, basil, and the uh, green onions are optional. Got a cucumber here, soy sauce, poison, cornstarch. Got it. And then uh, some red pepper, and that's it. All right, so you're talking about the meat here. You said yep. you're going to cut it really thin because Chuck can be sometimes Chuck tough. can be tender. Uh, it's can not be tender. It can be tough. It right. takes a long time to get tender, but because we're we'll be pounding it super, super thin, it's going to fry really, really nicely. Okay, so that's... Perfect. Yeah. And then what, what would you serve this with? Is this just kind of as is? So this, I'm actually going to serve in some steamed buns, but it can also go in uh, oh, taco you're shells. You're going to put the um Yeah, the in like a little bowl oh, kind of those. thing. Yes, exactly. Those. Or it can just be served over rice. So that's why I love this recipe. Super versatile, and it's uh, in one of my uh, daily meal preps. Got it. Now, so can we get the, the, the buns themselves? Can you Do you make them yourself? I didn't make them no, that's myself right. you, today. You could, you could have told me you did, and I wouldn't I, believe you, you. Yeah, I know. Honestly, but sure uh, you can you get them, them at the Asian market, or honestly, um, a lot of uh, American grocery stores are now starting to carry we'll them. We'll have them as well. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. All right. So this this sounds fantastic. It's going to be simple and easy to put together. Um, great knives over there. I know. Yeah, Forge the table. Yes, a very Forge nice. Forge the I'm, table. I'm, I'm looking at those. I'm like, they're really sweet. <laughs> we will put them together. Talk about talk to uh, Brynn about what else is going on and how can you can you know get a, a bunch of these other recipes that she has as well. Back to you. Put it together. <laughs> That's right. That's right. We are back in the kitchen. Chef Brynn and I are over here cooking together. We were just saying, cooking brings people together. Yes, so it does. So I'm over here stirring. Obviously, you have put together this amazing beef dish already. This is a, uh, obviously the Vietnamese. This is the sweet and spicy beef. Yes. It smells so incredible over here, Brynn. It's definitely the ginger. It gives it that is really that aromatic. Is? Yes. So you've been cooking this, obviously, at the top of the show. So what is the next step now that we do to put this together? So the next step is after you mix all that in, it's actually quite so easy. Actually mix everything. Yeah. You can mix everything okay. in all together. So we have our steamed buns here. You could also, as you were just saying, throw it over rice if you want. It's really great for meal prep. Super easy. It's been about 30 minutes, and it's still that chuck. And so everyone says it's going to be, oh, tough. Right. It's going to be nice It's going to be tender. nice and tender. It's going to be so, so good. So here we have some Thai basil, which is also super optional. You don't have to use it. If you have regular Italian basil, which I find most households do, you could use that as well. So you could use either or. Exactly. Okay. And then we have just some sliced cucumbers. Another great option to add into the bun if you want is kimchi. Oh, Kimchi yes. is so good. And oh, so that actually sounds delicious. No, doesn't yes, it? Yes. So these buns are awesome because okay. it's just like a little kind of like a Asian tortilla okay. kind of situation. So you just scoop a little bit of your beef. So you put like a good I amount of beef I put a in good, there, huh? a healthy amount. I want to be full throughout the day. Absolutely. Then you throw some cucumber in. And so you get that added crunch. The too. crunch and the coolness. And then a basil leaf. Oh my gosh. Look at how, look at how cute it those look too. Adorable. And the best part is, is you can do this as like a party. Like if you get some friends together. Yes. Oh, it just fell apart. And then, yeah, it's super easy to do. Also, it's super affordable. And that's been one of the kickers you know, for me. That's a big deal. With Absolutely. the price of everything Especially going right now. Up. Definitely. Eggs? Oh, oh forget oh about it. Please, I have five kids. So <laughs> oh, like, my oh, Lord, my Lord, I could only imagine. So tell me about the food nugget, too, Bryn. So the Food Nugget is this company, uh, it's a small business, and it's pretty much just me. I do personal chefing, small event catering. Okay. I also help with uh, restaurant management and then also kitchen design as well. So multifaceted. Definitely. I just love being in the kitchen. Oh, I love it. So <laughs> where did your passion for food and, and really just being in the kitchen come from? It honestly came from, as we were talking about earlier, just bringing people together. I saw when I was a kid cooking how we would sit down and eat, and at school we'd all sit down and eat. And I also saw how it divided people, because yeah. when I brought in a tuna sandwich, <laughs> nobody wanted to sit next to me. <laughs> but I love food, I've always loved food, and then I actually had the amazing opportunity to be on Hell's Kitchen, and from there, uh, the food nugget has blossomed. And you know, what was that experience like for you? Is oh, that it was just a so whole different crazy. kind of level? So different level, the yeah. adrenaline. It took me like two weeks to come off of that adrenaline high. So it was, ex extremely exciting. I learned a lot about myself. I learned a lot about just food and also how to deal with different big personalities. Big personalities, <laughs> definitely. 
And tell me this too, like how you come up with these, like just like you said, it is a simple recipe. It's an affordable recipe yes. too, which I think, you know, you made such a good point because so many of us right now are looking for easy meals. You know, even you said you would have made a great point, easy prep. You could do yep. this even the night before. Exactly. You could just, you know, keep using it throughout the week. Where do you come up with these ideas? Um, it really, honestly, social media. I feel like it's tough to have an original opinion or an original idea at this point just yep. because there's so much out there. So what I really actually enjoy doing is going through social media, Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, seeing different recipes. I also do have fans that send me their recipes to try that oh, I would no never way. try before. Okay. So it's just taking those recipes, tweaking them a little to fit your lifestyle, your schedule, your uh, dietary restraints. Right. So I just love cooking and sometimes I just get these creative streaks where I'll go to the grocery store, see what's on sale and try to throw something together with what I have in the fridge. And really just kind of come up with that, exactly. that way. That, that's your creative superpower. That is, yeah. No, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, I really do. I think it is a superpower. So this, obviously, this specific dish itself, yes. is this something that you like to prepare often? Is this something that you'll do if you're doing like a small event? So for both, honestly, I love suggesting this to all of my clients that do meal prep. Mm -hmm. um, so obviously I use sugar and um, soy in it, so it's kind of high in that aspect, but you could also use different types of sugars. You could also omit the sugar completely because the cornstarch thickens it up. So you can really use this recipe, and it's very versatile, as we said, over rice, in tacos, in bao. I know, this looks so I good. know, and then also, because it is spicy, you could throw some sriracha in it, but I do highly recommend adding that kimchi for the extra little kick. I know, that does sound amazing. <laughs> so do you have anything big coming up over the summer? Oh, um, not really. I will be doing some dumpling pop-ups, though. I know oh. a lot of people have been asking for that. Last time I was on the show, I believe I made the dumpling things as well so expect to see the dumpling den back oh i love it well Brent, thanks so much for coming in thank you for having me can't wait to dive into these after the show and for more information on everything over here head to our website roadshow.com